Test some nerves. All right, what's up, people? I told you guys I was going to do a soapbox thingy majiggy. Necklaces jacked. And uh, everybody say hi to John because we can't leave John out of this. Hi, John. Hello. <laughs> he's tired and he's ready to take a nap. So, what's up, Jeff? All right, guys. Justin, oh my God, you're still awake? This is like way past your bedtime. I thought you go to bed at like nine because you're like, you know, an ophthalmologist or something. Anyways, what's up, Jenny? What's up, guys? All right. So, honestly, I don't even know where to start. I really don't know where to start. Jeff Culp says hi. Hey, what up, Jeff? See, now he wants to be friends, right? I missed you, dude. I missed you. You were into that judging on Sunday, man. I didn't want to disrupt what was going on. Yeah, he didn't want to disrupt it. So anyways, listen. Um, anyways, I don't know where to start, but I'll just start somewhere, I guess. And um, I told you guys I was going to do a soapbox. I'm sure you guys have seen like a couple of my recent posts that I put out. And I feel like I have to kind of explain some of my posts because it's like super random like super 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 duper duper random jeff said he missed you guys uh -huh. missed you guys as in me and you like you missed me too right jeff i mean hello kidding hi michelle what up rob rice so anyways some of the people that are on the speed right now would probably actually understand what i'm saying and where i'm coming from so let's see let's start here okay so Whenever you own a business, okay, even if you don't own a business, let's just say that you um, have a nightclub or let's say that you have your own personal training service, okay? I'm applying this to some of the people that are on this feed right now. And let's say you have whatever, your own whatever, okay? And you provide a service to whomever that might be. People around you automatically expect like discounts, free shit, you know, like just stuff. Okay. That's just, that's just how it goes. But the reality behind that is that if everybody gave away free stuff, we wouldn't have a business. You know what I mean? So like, for example, you know, some of my best friends and I can actually probably name them on here and they wouldn't even care. Sorry, my hair is like super oily. So I feel the need to put it in this like you know, ponytail of some sort since it's not washed for like 10 days. So anyways, um, I'm not saying the secret yet until it's done. What up, Mark? How are you? I saw your text today. You and Ashley got a thing going. Anyways, so listen, when you have a business, you have to be able to make money to have the business and up and running, okay? And your people that are like your true friends, okay? And the, I go like, this is going back and forth to like, even people that I have that are my friends, I'll give you an example. Her name's Julie, right? She does my lashes. So I don't make her do my lashes for free. Does she offer to probably do my lashes for free? I mean, all the time. But when you're a true friend, like friends support friends, you know, like whether it's a discount or whatever, you're supporting your friend's business and then you support your friend. That's how you support your friend is you support the business and you don't ask for free shit. So like, I just, I'm trying to figure out here in this whole like thing, because you know, when I first met John, you know, I can't say I was like the nicest person on the planet. Okay. And John's made me such a better. Yes. Julie Buck. She's my BFF. I love her. So anyways, Mark's or Mark, cause I seen Mark Jenny out here. So John's made me like an amazing person. Okay. He really like turned me from like this cold person to have like a bigger heart, care about more soften up a little bit. But you know, in that process, I feel like, you know, some of me to some degree, and I'm just being honest, because I suck at lying. Some of me, I feel like was lost to some degree. And I feel as though I need to reincorporate that there's actually somebody on this feed right now that knows me really, 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 really well from back in the day. Um, hi, Adina. So, um, you know, back in the day, it was just like, it was cut dry, you know, like it is what it is. I mean, that is the kind of person that resides in me. Like that's like the real me, you know, the real me is one of those people like, you know, I'll, I'm like, I'll give you the shirt off my back. But the minute that I feel like I'm being taken advantage of, or I feel like being taken advantage of, then I'm going to probably flip the script on you. And then it, once I flip the script, it's going to be like that forever. So 
I just, I don't want to turn into that person, but I feel like, you know, sometimes I'll open up Instagram and it's just, it's so crazy. I just, I'm so appalled. I'm trying to like understand why this is happening in society. And like, maybe it's like the whole, like, cause remember, I mean, what am I like? What are we like? Thirties? <laughs> I'm in my thirties. John's in his thirties too. He forgets. But, um, you know, you have to remember, like, in today's society, maybe, like, you know, like, you're, like, Insta-famous, right? So you're, like, on Instagram and you think you're, like, a celebrity because you have, like, all these followers. God only knows if you bought them or whatever you did with them, whatever. But, you know, it's, like, you'll inbox somebody and be, like, hey, I want all this free stuff because I have all these followers and they're all going to come to you. So, yeah, I want a free Titan Complete. I want a free Hercules Potion. And my name is Bob Billy Bo Berry Boo. I don't care about you, Bob, Billy, Bo, Barry, Boo, okay? So, I just, I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't get it. I, I'm not gonna, maybe I'll never get it. I don't know. I don't think I'll ever get it, to be honest with you guys. I really don't. I don't understand why society is, like, in this entitled society of, like, you owe me something, right? Because when I was growing up, nobody gave me shit, okay? Nothing. Nothing. Nobody gave me nothing. Even my parents, they gave me nothing. My mom gave me nothing but life. My dad gave me nothing but life, okay? I love you, mom. I'm sure you'll see my live and you'll love it so much. But come on, I mean, it's the truth, guys. You know, I busted my ass to get where I'm at today. And it really does bother me that like people in general, not just anyone in specific, so please don't take this personal. If it applies, and uh, obviously if the shoe fits, wear it. But I'm just saying that just stop expecting shit from people. I mean, seriously, guys, I'm not trying to be mean, but like that's like me walking into, let's just say, okay, let's just say, and I probably wouldn't have said this like, you know, 20 years ago. Let's just say I walked into Gucci, right? I used this analogy, I think, last night, right, John? Okay, so say I walked into Gucci and I'm like, hey guys, oh, so how much is that belt there, right? And they go, oh, well, it's gonna be four, 450. All right, so 450 bucks? Like, yeah, it's gonna be 450 bucks. All right, well, do you know who I am? Um, no, ma'am, we don't know who you are. Well, I mean, of course you know who I am. My name is Sharice, I own Titan. I know everybody in Tampa. Like, I grew up in Tampa. I know all of Tampa. I mean, if you want your Gucci store to be popping, like, you better get me this Gucci belt, and I want the Gucci belt for 100 bucks. Do you think Gucci's gonna give me that belt for $100? I mean, if I smile really big, like, like this, and then I go like this, right? And then I'm like, and I bat my lashes that Julie does for me, right? I'll totally, like, get the belt for 200 bucks, right? Right? No, that doesn't happen in real life. Hello, what happened to you people? <laughs> this is not real life. Stop asking for free shit. Stop thinking that things are like, like you're entitled to something. Like Peter is 10 years old and I'm making sure like as he grows up in this process that he understands like you are not entitled to anything. Nobody owes you anything. You will earn respect. You will earn your money. You will earn who you want to be in life, okay? I mean, what in the hell, okay? So I feel like this, this, this little itty-bitty person, and I'm going to call it itty-bitty, okay? This little person inside of me that has resided there for many, 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 many years. Those of you that know me very well know that that person resides deep down inside, okay? That, you know, I, I've really become a better person and I thank my amazing husband for making me a better person throughout the years, okay? But there is a time that you draw the line and you don't let people take advantage of you and you don't let people push you over because I'm telling you guys, for those of you that don't know me very well, I'm not a pushover. <laughs> and um definitely not mm -mm. i'm not like the nicest person you've ever met unless you're on my good side like once you get on the bad side it's one of those fences that you like hop over and then you like can't ever get back on the other side because like you know there's like dogs over there that'll eat you alive that's kind of like how it works with me so i've 
I put that post, I did put a post out last night and it was just in general because it's just, it is like beyond me. Like some of the things, you know, that we get asked for or things that we get, you know, it's just with us doing this, like I told you guys we're doing this new endeavor or this new venture, whatever. It's like something in the works. It has forced us to comb through everything, okay? So we're combing through everything. And when I say combing, we're combing to make sure like, okay, so what's going on in this department? Where are we spending this? Who's doing what? What's bringing, who's bringing what to the table? What's been going on for years, this, this, and that. And you know, when you sit back and look at things, you're like, damn, this is kind of messed up. Like how many people just like if you let people or you allow people to continually take advantage of you or to continually push you over or continually whatever in that same category they will continue to do it all the time they will do it over and over and over and over until they suck your soul dry okay so I'm just letting everybody know that this has not gone unnoticed. Um, you know, John is a really nice guy until you get on his bad side. You don't want to see that side because it's ugly. It's really ugly. And I think maybe it's really ugly because it never comes out. And I'm the one that's always like, you know, I'm like, you know, the person that can't usually hold myself back. Now, obviously, over the years, you grow up a little bit. And, you know, you become a little bit mature and you kind of calm down a little bit, which I have calmed down immensely okay but in the same token you can't let people take advantage of you it's really important that you don't do that you got to keep your morals and I mean this is not I mean this, I don't know what society is coming to but you're not entitled to anything and nobody owes you anything I mean unless I mean you've, I guess you've done something extravagant that, for them and that you know, they really owe you something you know um you know, we're good people and we take care of our people. We always have taken care of our people. But, um, you know, it's gotten to that point. And this is like, it's not just like people asking for stuff for free or asking things for discounts or somebody asking to do something when they know they really shouldn't ask to do it, but they know if they ask that they'll get it. So it's made me have to turn on that switch of okay it is what it is yeah, you know what I mean so I had to share this with you because I mean I don't want anybody to think this at any given point in time because honestly guys Titan Medical Center and like me and John we wouldn't be where we're at today if it wasn't for like the people that loves us like loves us and they support us but in the same token guys we weren't handed this you know what I mean like we've literally like we've busted our ass to get to where like where we're at today i mean one thing it was like handed to us you know like somebody gave us some money and we threw it into account and called it a day and you know just balled out <laughs> that'd be different but that's not what happened you know seven years later we're still owners of the company 100 percent owners mind you and um you know we're still in the office for like 15 hours a day i mean i'm sure there's people on this feed <sighs> chrissy that can um actually vouch for that so i mean I just want to make it super clear because I really do feel like, you know, I don't know where society is going nowadays, but it is not going good. It's not going good at all. And it really does bother me because when you take care of so many people for so long, and this happens a lot, a lot of the times in like the nightclub industry and stuff, or I mean, even like management at restaurants or like, you know, anybody in a management position or has some sort of power people will always try to take advantage of you and be like, oh, so-and-so said I would get this for free or so-and-so said I'll get this for discounted rate, da-da-da-da-da. You know, like, listen, I know everybody wants to always get a deal. That's not, you know, what I'm saying. But I'm telling you guys, don't take advantage of people because you, you, I'm telling you guys, you guys are going to turn good people into people that are just not as good, you know? So, I mean, I don't want to be that person, but... I think I've been a certain way for so long that it's now forced me to be a specific type of person. But this is the person I like really, really, I really am this person deep down inside. So I feel like some people out there just don't know me that good. And you know, maybe you'll never get to know me that good. But uh, you know, I, I, I won't say any names or anything, um, but 
it was actually quite amusing that uh, we got this uh, email today. I won't say what the email said, okay? But it was somebody that was like upset about something because I mean, nothing's ever perfect, right? So anyways, somebody was upset about something and you know, they had the audacity it's kind of funny. Um, they had the audacity to say something in the email that was like, huh, I've never had somebody say that to me before. Or like, you know, she didn't think I was actually like, she didn't, I don't, maybe she didn't think I was going to read the email or have access to every platform at Titan Medical Center, but I do. And I'm kind of involved like in every single platform on every single department, like your lab department, your refill department, your prescription department, your doctor department, your every department. Yeah, I'm involved in every single one of those departments. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so there was two words that went with this and I'm gonna say it because I have to say it now that I've mentioned the story. I mean, duh. So two parts to it. In this like email of like the rant, right? Because listen, I get it. Like if anybody gets a rant, it's me. Okay. I'm the first person to complain. This is why I tell people at my office that work for me. I always tell them treat everybody like as if they were me because I am the worst case scenario. If something goes wrong or I don't get my package on time. My clothes are late. My food is cold. My food is wrong. And God only knows my food is always wrong because I order everything plain. And that is like the most difficult thing to do is put a piece of chicken on a freaking ass plate without any garnishings so anyways it's always wrong so like but I go from like here to here in like a matter of like three seconds so it's just how I am whatever but in this email okay it said like you know yada 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 something 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 you know blah 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 blah, blah. and then it happened to say like something about you know the bimbo I've never been called that one before, but my hair is blonde now, so maybe that's why. The bimbo Barbie and her husband. So, wait, hold up. First, I am gonna say thank you for saying like, I'm like, looks like, like I look like a Barbie. That's awesome, like, that's super cool. But I am gonna tell you, I don't think a bimbo would make it this far. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I mean, maybe, mm, yeah, no. I wonder, I wonder if somebody would say that to my face. Probably not. So, anyways, I'm not taking it personal, to be honest with you, because I could care less. I think, it's, I thought it was funny, because I'm like, damn, I look like a Barbie? Well, sh by all means, box me up and sell me. Let's make some money. <laughs> I can make some money. <laughs> you guys have to see John's face. <laughs> Come on, guys. I'm not horrible, I promise. It's, it's funny. So I'm like, you know, if these people actually knew, like, who I really was deep down inside... Maybe they wouldn't say that. Like, I don't think they would, you know? Some people, like, either A, you don't know me, B, you think you know me, or C, you just haven't had the opportunity to get to know me. But I am going to tell you something. I do not play that at all. And there's, like, a Deanne Smith on here with no picture that's, like, you two are, yeah, so I don't, I mean, like somebody would write shit on there, you know, like, you talking to her? yeah, you. yeah, go ahead. I'm going to stick John on you real fast because you don't have a picture, which probably says a lot about the profile. Oh. And, um, if you're still watching, I mean, then why are you wasting your time? Okay. Seriously, get off of my soapbox. You don't like it. Hit end. You don't like it. Unfollow. For real. You guys are bringing this out of me. It's inside. <laughs> so anyways. Yeah, you see the troll art? I'm about to stick everybody on the troll. troll. But the, listen, the troll doesn't even have a picture. I mean, you can't be a troll and not have a picture. You should at least have a picture. Do you Have, have you guys ever seen that show? Catfish? Catfish? I mean, listen here, troll. I mean, whatever your name is, Smith. Troll Smith. Troll, you should totally get a picture. I mean, there's a ton of pictures out there. You could totally grab one off the internet. I reported too. Good you job, know? Adina. 
Report the account, guys. You know Adina was. You know who Adina is, right? Yeah. yeah. Report the account. Adina, I miss you, girl. Ooh, man, we got we go back some good times. Good times. Adina knows me real good, probably too good. So, anyways, I just had to share this with you guys. I really did feel the need to like express the real me in this video. Um, honestly, guys, I truly do. Like, I have a heart of gold. Um, once you have my heart, you have it forever. I'm super, super loyal. And I take very good people. I do very good care of all of our people. Um, all the way up to date. You know, it doesn't matter what we go through or what happens or, you know, even if people, like people that are patients that aren't patients anymore, we still talk to them. Like, you know, it's it's not like that. It never has been. You know, and we, we're just good people like that. And I will say that. But I'm going to tell you, like, don't play around. I'm telling you right now, like, this is not, mm -mm, I don't play that. I'm just letting you know. I mean, people that do know me, I don't have to tell you that because you already know. People that don't know me, just consider this your public service announcement, okay? <sighs> Gotta go report the troll. Yeah, see, I mean, seriously. <laughs> the hell? I mean, the audacity. You have to come and troll on this thing. As I'm telling you, not to troll. Anyways, all right. So I think I've done my rant for like way too long. Hi, boo. What up, Tunisha? Um, Adina, I love you. I miss the hell out of you, girl. I hope everything is good with your babies. I do see your stuff on Facebook whenever I get to go on there, like once a year. And um, yeah, it's been uh, been quite a week, I'll tell you. But I think um, it's just been, I think honestly, guys, this, is, this soapbox has been a, a buildup of things that have taken place over a period of probably like two years. And then finally, it's just like I got into that point at like, I'm like, eh, eh. so it is what it is, you know, be good to people. They'll be good to you. And uh, don't take advantage of people. Don't expect things because you're not entitled and um, treat people good. And I promise you'll get treated good as well. I'm sure. And if you don't, then you know what? Good will come to you. I have learned that. John taught me that. John. He taught me to be a good person. So good stuff will come to me. Be humble. Be humble. Oh, I was humble because I had nothing to not be humbled about. So I was always humbled. I've always been humbled. Humbled wouldn't be a word for me. I think more or less my word would probably be a little bit more... I don't know. What would the word be for description? Well. You know, not me not being so cold. Okay. Me not being so cold. We'll leave it at that. Okay. So anyways, I hope to see all of you guys soon. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you don't like it or you want to be a troll with no picture, then just uh, hit the yeah, unfollow button. Or you know what? Actually, you know what you're really called? Let me just show you guys. Wait, hold on. Wait, you see this one thing like here? that's called a keyboard gangster so anyways i hope everybody has a great night and hope you enjoyed my soapbox because i did have something to rant about legitimately um that's been building up inside of me forever so i appreciate all of you listening to my awesome screams for help over here of just dude take care of people just be cool okay don't try to get over on people all the time promise you it's gonna catch up to you one day it won't be good you know just be a good person and good to come back karma is real very 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 real this is why i refuse to be a bad person even though bad things happen to us from people it won't make me a bad person might it make me put up an extra wall of protection very much so Maybe an extra wall and then another block Cautious. and then put a little bit. Um, what are like the worst dogs you can have? Like the ones that will like kill you. I mean, German Shepherds. Or so I'll put out like 10 German Bowermans. Shepherds in front of the wall and then spikes and probably some automatic guns. And then we're good to go. Do you know what I mean? Violence is not the answer, guys. Just so you know. Okay, let me finish this video with that. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I swear I'm not crazy. Yeah, actually, I am. But say bye to John. Bye, guys. Have a good night. See? Get some rest. John's a cool one, man. He's a cool one. Just don't piss him off, okay? It's never good. All right? Yeah.
See ya. Bye, guys. Bye, Art.